Hello friends. Um, welcome. So in our plugin, so I'm continuing our movie library plugin from the previous videos. Okay. So I have already created a custom post types and one taxonomies. Okay. But let's uh, how I have created is I have used the WP CLI. So WP CLI is the command line interface to manage the WordPress. Okay. And WP CLI provides a scaffold command and there is a sub command called post types and I have passed hyphen hyphen prompt argument. So this argument prompt me to, uh, to get inputs of every arguments available for this command and I have used this uh, command to create a custom post type so it will create an entire file to my plugin so I have provided a plugin for plugin uh, as a sixth argument movie library so in that in this plugin uh, the CLI command will create a folder post types and in that uh, in that folder they will create uh, post type uh, a file based on the slug and similarly I have used taxonomy scaffold command to create a taxonomy okay so if you see here uh, in the movie library plugin we can have post types uh, in the movie.php file in the taxonomy i can have a genre um, the te custom taxonomy which i have created but i will get back to that later okay so let's open the movie.php oh, and before that like i have already uh, loaded those two files into the our main plugin file okay and since i have registered a custom post types uh, you can see here uh, you can see the movies uh, post types and a genre taxonomy assigned to that movies post types and I have added a two movie here uh, for an example. Okay, so let's go through the uh, all the arguments uh, of these registered post types and the, and what are the uh, different uses of those arguments. Let's understand that. So entire this file created by the WP CLI command. Okay, and I have renamed the function. So uh, previously this function was movie init okay but this was a very too generic uh, like a function name so i have added a uh, mlb movie library it's a short prefix i have came up with mine um, so i have used this and just added some few like mlb register or movie post so it, it will be more readable and i have uh, and that function have been hooked to init hook if you don't know about actions uh, and the filters or the hooks go through uh, go to the plugin handbook page there is a hooks document uh, handbook and that uh, handbook page will give you all the information about actions and filters and now you can use it okay and then there are some of the other filters we will came back to that also okay so let's talk about register post type function so also open this function so we can uh, we can identify like we can go through the function definition as well and its documentation so I'm not going uh, opening the official uh, developers documentation because I can get all the functions related information from the WordPress code itself and that's why I like the inline documentation of the WordPress code. So this function register a post types. You can also see that uh, in, in the different versions there are some other uh, uh, things have been added on different different versions and this information is very helpful for the developers as well okay so this function pro, uh, accept two arguments one um, one is the post type slug okay uh, post type slug and second argument the arcs so here uh, in the movie.php i have passed the movie now we have talked about naming best practices currently this is just the plugin i am using on a local and it's not going to use by any other uh, user so i am just keeping the movie for simplicity but uh, be, uh, but i would suggest to use a prefix as well uh, if your plugin is going to be used uh, by multiple users or all the users and you, if you are publishing your plugin to the uh, wordpress.org plugin directory Okay, so this is the movie post type slug I have uh, using uh, to creating it and second argument uh, second argument is an array of all the arguments in that we have a labels. So labels used to uh, differentiate the, uh, you can use these labels uh, for your custom post type. So movies, movie, all movies. So all these uh, labels used with different. So you can see movies here, all movies. Okay, so if I change it something like all movies, for example, here, if I add a text and save it. And if I refresh it, you can see the text here. Okay, so these uh, labels used to uh, create or differentiate uh, the labels uh, for for your custom post types. Okay, if you do not provide it, so for example, if I just remove this here, all items, then probably it will be like something, or it will it won't be added it here. 
okay so we have to or it will just use the uh, singular or the plural uh, library uh, uh, label okay so better to provide uh, all the labels so that we can identify uh, the different meaning so i'm just refreshing it here okay and these are all the labels you can go through one by one and you can see how it can be used for example here is a featured image so featured image is the uh, 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 feature for uh, like we can set a featured image to our a uh, movie okay but here like how about uh, adding um, like a sad movie poster right featured image like for the movie uh, movie post type uh, we can say a movie poster kind of thing so if you can if you want to change it then we can change it so for example if you go to the add new plugin add new movies um, here you can see the featured image and sad featured image okay so let's uh, rename something like uh, a movie a poster then a sad a movie poster for example let's save it and refresh this page okay now you can see here movie poster and set movie poster so so wordpress provides this uh, flexibility uh, to have to change to these labels and th these labels can be changed according to our content content type so here our content type is the movie and we can change it uh, accordingly and also at uh, at other places we can add uh, set a movie poster let me just copy paste this quickly uh, movie po use as a uh, movie post okay so this way you can change it uh, every uh, every labels are available okay so all this label add new add new movie all these things added uh, if you go to here so you can see add new other uh, movies and everything so all these labels can be changed or uh, changed or displayed by this labels argument okay so okay so we are we are done with the labels okay now let's talk about other arguments so these are the public and let's go through also here so all the argument lists you can get it here so in the argument so first argument was a post type so we have passed us a post type uh, uh, slug which is movie then second with the rf arguments and you can see all the uh, available uh, uh, arguments within that arguments array and its types as well so string it's a label so if you pass label only then it will be like singular or plural label you can provide if you want to provide multiple labels you you want to change it all the labels available so you can use the labels argument so that's why we have used here labels okay so now the uh, description so you can provide a short description of the post types which is currently have we haven't uh, passed it okay so you can also provide short description of the post type summary okay default will be uh, empty then the public so public uh, public argument used to set uh, uh, whether this uh, post type is publicly available or not okay so uh, if you pass it through then it will be displayed to the front end user as well okay and if you we, if we if we set it to false then it will be displayed in the wordpress admin but it won't be visible or it won't be uh, accessible from the front end user okay and this argument also used to set the values of different uh, other arguments like exclude from search publicly queryable so you are so in new menus or these are other arguments are inherited from the public okay but you can also override uh, uh this different arguments okay but if you do not pass these arguments then it will be inherited the default value from the public argument okay then there is a hierarchical so hierarchical is the po to make it post type hierarchical okay so for example in a wordpress pages are the hierarchical side where the uh, you can set a post child parent parent child relationship okay but in the movie we don't have that uh release kind of relationship until unless if uh, one movie have multiple uh like uh, chapters or the parts okay but for now like we have a non-hierarchical post type but uh, in the in the default wordpress installation pages are the hierarchical post type okay then exclude from search if you are uh, uh, pass this value through then it will exclude from the front end searches okay so it and the default is opposite value of the public okay then public uh, queryable so if this uh, if it's uh, false then it won't be visible or sorry it won't be searchable or accessible in the front end okay and these are the uh, rewrite rules that have been added if the public queryable is uh, true 
uh, don't worry about rewrite rules. Uh, we will learn uh, rewrite API uh, and rewrite rules in the different video in another video. Then there is a show UI. So whether you want to show a user interface to managing the post types or not. So for example, um, here in the show UI, if you if I pass false, and if you go to here and refresh the uh, refresh the page, you cannot see here. Okay. So uh, let me go to here. Uh, it's a public now. If I keep it true, then uh, you can see the movies post types. All right. So if you want to just hide that post type, then uh, we can pass the show UI. Okay, so for example, you have created a custom post type to managing some different uh, thing or to manage the content, but without having the user interface, then you can use this so UI or uh, false. Then we'll go back to here, then show in menu. So if you want to display this uh, in the admin menu or not. So for example, here you can see the all movies uh, menu. So if you do not want to show it here, then you can just uh, pass that value false. Then show in new menu. So show in new menus use to here so if you created uh, if in, this is the in the admin bar you can see this new uh, menu and here you can see the movie if you do not want to show the here then you can just pass this show in new menus of uh, false okay and so in admin bar as well i think sorry my bad so in new menus use used to in the new navigation menu so in the appearance uh, menus and this uh sorry and then this uh, so uh, so in admin bar is about this one so in a menu okay now next is the rest base and the rest namespace so by default these are this uh, arguments are used for the rest api and i i'm skipping it right now so because we will talk about this in the another video where we uh, we will be learn the rest api okay and also we'll skip for now rest controller class as well it's all about uh, the rest api then menu position okay so menu position is used to how where you want to display your uh, movie po a custom post type menu so currently it's displayed after the comments okay and there are menu uh, structure so for example i have i have given this information so in a single site these are the values or the position of the menus so dashboard at two uh, third second places and separate is fourth places post are fifth places so these are the position of the existing default wordpress menus so if you want to for example currently our movies uh, menu displayed after the comments if i want to show after the post then i have to keep it after i have to keep the position after five and before ten so probably if i just used here a menu position here i have passed the null so if i pass six okay and then refresh it then it shows to after the post okay so using this menu position you can display or you can change the menu position in the wordpress dashboard okay uh, next is menu icon so menu icon is used uh, to so these are the menu icons you can see here these are the p the media and the pages and all the menus ever uh, icons so if, uh, currently it's the uh, same icon as the uh, default post uh, post type okay if you want to change it then we can use the wordpress dash icon font library or either you can pass uh, svg uh, content okay so uh, let's go to the dash this is the you uh, this uh, dash icons uh, page okay and here all these dash icons icons you can find it out so all these icon icons are already uh, available in the wordpress admin so we can just uh, see which uh, icon icon will be suitable for our movie for example let me just get this this icon video and we have different uh, different videos as well so maybe we can use this video all too so if i'm just click on this this uh, desk icon is selected and it provide me this uh, class okay so i'm i will use this class go to the code base in our movie and here i can just change this to here menu icon and if i refresh the page here um if i just reload the page now you can see the movies the icon have been changed okay so you can use various um, uh, desicons uh, like from our uh, wordpress front desicons library okay so we just need to pass the class only okay now what next 
uh, the capability type so i am also skipping this capability type capabilities and map meta cap so all these three arguments we will talk about uh, in the another video uh, like where we will discuss about the uh, user roles and its and its capabilities and how we can in add uh, the custom capabilities okay see you on the next video jai wordpress